Hi everyone, this is uh, NZ Tech Freak, also known as Murray Winniata, with yet another video for the Clove blog. Now this time of course we're looking at the sensation from HTC versus Samsung's Galaxy S2 being the two hot high-end Android handsets at the moment. And this video is going to be focusing specifically on their video playback capability. You'll have seen in other reviews kind of glowing report cards for both of these saying they'll pretty much play anything you throw at them. Uh, probably just reflects a lack of imagination on the part of some reviewers as to what sort of video files some people will be watching. And when I say that I'm not referring to porn, I'm referring to high definition files in particular using the MKV file format container or various kinds of audio encoding like DTS or Vorbis, which some people use a lot um, but which aren't handled well by the stock players in the phones. Now I've got a bunch of test files here using different video codecs, audio codecs, bit rates and resolutions, some with internal embedded MKV subs, some with external subs, just to really throw a rigorous test at both of these phones. Now I'm actually, as you might see on screen here, doing this within Dice Player because for each of these phones Dice Player is significantly superior to the stock players. Uh, in the case of the Galaxy S2, when I ran this, this batch of test files through its default player, it actually did pretty well. It played about half of them, played all of the high definition stuff really quite well. Sensation on the other hand, the only one that it played perfectly smoothly in HD, 1080p, was the Born Identity, or Born Automatum, sorry, trailer that's part of this test batch, which is actually encoded in MP4, which of course it supports natively. Lots of the others were quite watchable, but have hitches and stutters as you'll see. So, just to leap right in, we'll start off with one 720p file encoded in AC3 sound, and it's playing. Perfectly on the Galaxy S2, just 100% smooth, looks lovely. Same file on the Sensation. it back a bit. See it's playing with sound but a lot of stuttering probably on the borderline of being unwatchable certainly I wouldn't want to watch through that but some people have a high tolerance for dropped or skipped frames. Next one Big Buck Bunny this is a 1080p MKV video codec is DivX Galaxy X2 playback is perfect. Sensation. Playback is good. If you see some less static scenes, you'll actually see that playback is 100% smooth on the sensation. But still really very watchable. Wouldn't complain too much about that. Next file is a VP6 encoded FLV. You got a call from either Dre or someone. Plays on the Galaxy S2. On the night of April Plays on the sensation. Dre wasn't there. It was shook and, you know, a nice handful of other... What you might be appreciating is a distinct difference in the volume of the two phones. Uh, both both of them are set to full. It's just that the Galaxy S2 actually has a far superior loudspeaker to the one that you'll find in the Sensation. That'll become more apparent the more we watch. Um, I'm just going to skip over a couple of these. Some like the GI Joe uh, fallback ones. So this is a DivX encoded 720p file. So that if either the phone couldn't play, couldn't have played Big Buck Bunny, we would have gone to this one to see how it plays. So we'll skip over and we're going to play. A clip of Harry Potter. Now the thing about this one is it's actually got dual audio and Dice Player will prompt you which one you want to watch. I can see the whites of their eyes. They're stunning. So there's the English. And here is the Hindi. Although I'll have to take their word for it. And we can see that Dice Player has crashed out of playing that in the sensation. I have been able to watch the video in its entirety and the sensation, so it doesn't always do that. Next one, this one here, 
1080p MKV has a bit rate of 20 megabits per second and it doesn't play on either phone basically and nor would I expect it to since my laptop can't play that file but really just wanting to test the limits to see what they can cope with the one directly beneath this is a clip from Monsters Inc it's a 1080p MKV file and the thing about this one is it also has a very high bit rate this time nine and a half thousand kilobits per second and this is one also that my laptop really struggles to play and we'll have a look at it on the Galaxy S2 and the Spainy embedded MKV subs you can see on screen there you know, that wasn't very funny it's also DT, DTS sound, that's the other important thing about that one and you can see it's playing with sound playing absolutely perfect if we go to the same file on the sensation We can see for one thing it takes a lot longer to load. You can see it's actually playing pretty well. I'd say that's perfectly watchable, but again it's just not 100% smooth like what you're going to get on the Galaxy S2. Again we'll skip over Iron Man, that's a fallback file. We'll move on to the music video here, The Weekend. an H263 Sorensen encoded FLV. Both phones play it. Really good one to show you the distinct disparity in speaker quality for both the phones. Born Ultimatum is a 1080p MP4 file that's natively supported by Android. And as you'd expect, playback on the Galaxy S2 is 100% smooth. This is the only one of the HD files, in fact that also plays back 100% smooth on the sensation. As you see just a gulf between the loudness of the speakers. And here we've got one with Vorbis encoding. Now interestingly there is one file on here that Dice Player can't play and that's this Matrix one which is actually encoded in SD in the Xvid codec which You'd think would be no struggle but due to the various combination of codecs that are in place it in fact doesn't play but if we go to one of the other software decoding players from the market like we'll just go to rock player light which is a free software find the same video go to software decoding Is perfect and in fact the same file will play perfect with software decoding or something like rock player or nvidia player or mobile player in the sensation so overall the difference is relatively large between the two phones on the stock player the sensation is a big bag of fail especially with high definition um, files which of course previously you may never have wanted to watch on your mobile in any case you may have been happy to transcode to something your phone could handle but now of course with MHL being on the scene and being able to output it via HDMI to your television or monitor you know, sometimes you will actually want to have the option of playing high definition files and there the Galaxy S2 significantly outshines the sensation although the sensation comes up to scratch really and is pretty usable in that regard if you're using dice player rather than the stock player so if you want more details please head to the Clove blog what you'll find there is my full write-up about video capabilities of both phones and there will also be a download link to a text file that contains the full media info export of the details of all of those files, how they're encoded, what codecs, what bit rates, uh, just the full full disclosure I guess so that if you're interest, interested to see if your files at home will play having seen the play on here you probably get a pretty good feel for that so that full full text file of all of the media info for these test video files will be available at the Clove blog with a post that should be up hopefully as this hits YouTube. So that's NZ Tech Freak signing off once again for the Clove blog.